from Bugatti Petito. Here's Anne Lacagliano. Is this the notebook that was found in the Florida Nature Preserve? Brian Laundrie and Gabby Petito documented their travels and artwork in notebooks. Now there is speculation that Laundrie's notebook was preserved in this camping dry bag that Brian's father, Chris, says he discovered yesterday before turning it over to cops. Deborah was asked about the discovery on CNN Today. The biggest question, does any of this shed any light on the circumstances of the death of Gabby Petito? I spoke with forensic psychiatrist Dr. Keith Ablo. Do you think there's a confession in that notebook? There could be a confession in a notebook, but if I had to predict, I'd say it's going to be more a love letter, as pathological as that sounds, to his deceased girlfriend. Ablo says in his opinion, Laundry might have spent his final days writing about his own feelings as the law closed in on him and he escaped into the swampland. He's going to wax, I would think, eloquent or not so eloquent about his feelings, partly because of being self-absorbed, who want to say, I loved her. The autopsy showed that Gabby was strangled. If Laundry did write about how Gabby was killed, Ablo says, don't expect a clear-cut confession. It won't be about the savage aspects of it. It will be about uh, how they might have argued at times, how they got heated. It will dance around, I believe. This is a guess, but dance around the actual violence. Gabby and Brian were both talented artists. This lovely image of a woman was believed to have been drawn by Gabby. But Laundrie's artwork had a darker edge. These cartoonish faces came with a chilling post. I want to give them little bodies with blood spraying from their necks. A lot of gore. <laughs> I'm always concerned when people generate artwork that's especially gory. Because art is a window on the soul. We'll have more on the investigation when you join us next time.